Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.1 security update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple released macOS Sequoia 15.1 a few days ago, the first update to the macOS Sequoia operating system that was released in September. macOS Sequoia comes six weeks after the launch of macOS Sequoia 15, and the build number for this build is 24B83. Now talking about the security content of macOS Sequoia 15.1. Regarding Apache Impact, multiple issues existed in Apache. This is a vulnerability in open source code and Apple software is among the affected projects. Regarding App Support Impact, a malicious app may be able to run arbitrary shortcuts without user consent. A path handling issue was addressed with improved logic. Regarding Apple AVD impact parsing a maliciously crafted video file may lead to unexpected system termination. The issue was addressed with improved bounds checks. Regarding Apple Mobile File Integrity Impact A sandbox process may be able to circumvent sandbox restrictions. An app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. A logic issue was addressed with improved validation. A downgrade issue affecting Intel-based Mac computers was addressed with additional code signing restrictions. Regarding assets impact, a malicious app with root privileges may be able to modify the contents of system files. This issue was addressed by removing the vulnerable code. Regarding contacts impact, an app may be able to access information about a user's contacts. A privacy issue was addressed with improved private data redaction for log entries. Regarding core media playback impact, a malicious app may be able to access private information. This issue was addressed with improved handling of symlinks. Regarding core services UI agent impact, an app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. This issue was addressed with additional entitlement checks. Regarding core text impact processing, a maliciously crafted font may result in the disclosure of process memory. The issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding cups impact, an attacker in a privileged network position may be able to leak sensitive user information. An issue existed in the parsing of URLs. This issue was addressed with improved input validation. Regarding Find My Impact, an app may be able to read sensitive location information. A privacy issue was addressed with improved private data redaction for log entries. Regarding Foundation Impact parsing, a file may lead to disclosure of user information. An out-of-bounds read was addressed with improved input validation. Regarding game controllers, impact. An attacker with physical access can input game controller events to apps running on a locked device. The issue was addressed by restricting options offered on a locked device. Regarding image IO impact processing, an image may result in disclosure of process memory. Processing a maliciously crafted message may lead to a denial of service. This issue was addressed with improved checks with improved bounds checks. Regarding installer impact, an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. A malicious application may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. An access issue was addressed with additional sandbox restrictions with improved checks. Regarding IO GPU family impact, a malicious app may be able to cause a denial of service. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding iOS surface impact, an app may be able to cause unexpected system termination or corrupt kernel memory. A use after free issue was addressed with improved memory management. Regarding kernel impact, an app may be able to leak sensitive kernel state. An information disclosure issue was addressed with improved private data redaction for log entries. Regarding login window impact, a person with physical access to a Mac may be able to bypass login window during a software update. An attacker with physical access to a Mac may be able to view protected content from the login window. This issue was addressed through improved state management. Regarding Maps Impact, an app may be able to read sensitive location information. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information. Regarding Messages Impact, an app may be able to break out of its sandbox. The issue was addressed with improved input sanitization. Regarding Notification Center Impact, an app may be able to access sensitive user data. A privacy issue was addressed with improved private data redaction for log entries. Regarding Package Kit Impact, a malicious application may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. An app may be able to bypass privacy preferences. An app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. 
an attacker with root privileges may be able to delete protected system files. An app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. The issue was addressed with improved checks. A path deletion vulnerability was addressed by preventing vulnerable code from running with privileges. The issue was addressed with improved checks. A path deletion vulnerability was addressed by preventing vulnerable code from running with privileges. A permissions issue was addressed with additional restrictions, respectively. Regarding photos impact, an app may be able to access contacts without user consent. A permissions issue was addressed with additional restrictions. Regarding pro residential impact, an app may be able to cause unexpected system termination or corrupt kernel memory. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding quick look impact, an app may be able to read arbitrary files. A logic issue was addressed with improved validation. Regarding Safari downloads impact, an attacker may be able to misuse a trust relationship to download malicious content. This issue was addressed through improved state management. Regarding Safari private browsing impact, private browsing may leak some browsing history, and information leakage was addressed with additional validation. Regarding sandbox impact, an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. This issue was addressed with improved validation of symlinks. Regarding scene kit, impact processing a maliciously crafted file may lead to heap corruption. This issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding shortcuts impact, an app may be able to access sensitive user data. A malicious app may use shortcuts to access restricted files. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information, with improved checks. Regarding SIP's impact processing, a maliciously crafted file may lead to unexpected app termination. Parsing a file may lead to disclosure of user information. An out-of-bounds access issue was addressed with improved bounds checking, with improved input validation. Regarding Siri impact, an app may be able to access sensitive user data. A sandboxed app may be able to access sensitive user data in system logs. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information. An information disclosure issue was addressed with improved private data redaction for log entries. Regarding system migration impact, a malicious app may be able to create sim links to protected regions of the disk. This issue was addressed with improved validation of sim links. Regarding WebKit impact processing, maliciously crafted web content may prevent content security policy from being enforced. Processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to an unexpected process crash. The issue was addressed with improved checks. A memory corruption issue was addressed with improved input validation. Regarding Windows Server impact, an app may be able to access sensitive user data. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information. So that was all about this macOS Sequoia 15. One security content update. If you want to know more about the security contents of this build, follow to link to the official documentation provided by Apple. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.